Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. At this time, I recognize that Representative Tony LeBranch testified, testifying in offer um, introduced HB 1349. Let me take this off to begin with. Thank you, Chair Havis, and thank you. Uh, Criminal Justice and Public Safety Committee for allowing me to introduce my bill today. Um, I believe it's important to start with definitions before I introduce HB 1339. Um, I know a lot of you probably already know, because this is the Criminal Justice and Public Safety Committee, what the difference is between decriminalization and legalization. In this case specifically, decriminalization means that we're not putting people in prison for simply possessing uh, hallucinogenic uh, psilocybin mushrooms. Uh, there are many reasons why this bill came to be, and one of those reasons is I don't believe it is the role of government to tell people what they can and cannot do in their own homes. Hallucinogenic uh, psilocybin mushrooms have been found to be some of the safest recreational drugs, uh, even compared to alcohol and cannabis. Uh, this drug is safe. Um, it, it doesn't make sense to me why alcohol should be legal when this drug is safer. Um, the cost of incarcerating one individual in New Hampshire is about $54,000. That's not even including prosecuting them. Uh, I believe that the state has better things to do with that money and go after the dealers of hard drugs instead of uh, going after individuals who simply possess and use uh, psilocybin mushrooms. Um, I don't believe it is a crime in itself to possess them. Um, or should not be a crime to possess them itself. Um, we have seen in other countries that have decriminalized uh, other drugs, such as Portugal, which legalized, or I should say decriminalized every single recreational drug. Drug addiction rates fell by 50% because individuals felt comfortable to get the help that they need without fear of being prosecuted. Um, the use of drugs in itself is a victimless crime, uh, especially when it comes to mushrooms. If you're using it in your own home and you're not bothering anybody else, why should it be a crime? And so this bill specifically uh, follows what we did with uh, marijuana in the state of New Hampshire when it comes to decriminalizing it, and it follows the same framework. Uh, you can still be fined for having mushrooms uh, if you're walking around in public or driving, uh, but you will not go to prison at least uh, for your first three offenses. And that's what this bill does. And I'm happy to answer any questions. Representative Tesla, you're recognized to ask a question. Thank you. My question. How many prosecutions a year? Mr. Chairman? Representative Bourne. Uh, do you need the microphone turned on? Uh, he needs to I need to turn it off. Thank you. Okay. How many, how many prosecutions or arrests uh, do we have for mushrooms per year in New Hampshire? Uh, that is information that I was not able to get from OLS, but I will say that even one prosecution, that's $54,000 to incarcerate, plus the uh, time and money that we use to prosecute these individuals. Uh, there's there's better resource or there's better uh, things we can do with those resources than prosecute these individuals because we should be going after the dangerous offenders that are you know selling heroin uh, and and other hard drugs. Uh, I don't think that the, the possession of these uh, relatively safe recreational drugs is uh, the way we should be going in the state of New Hampshire. Representative Roy, thank you. Thank you for taking my question. Um, you made a, a statement a couple times about regarding the safety. Do you have any uh, studies or other evidence to present to the committee that would indicate how, how safe these uh, drugs are? It was my intent after this hearing to send out an email with all these studies that I have been collecting to send to the committee. Thank you. Representative Bolden. Whatever your plan to send to us, can you ensure that there's something that specifically speaks to the claim that it's safer than alcohol? 
think yeah. that would be good to be able to verify. Yeah, there are multiple studies that I can send out uh, relating to the safety uh, of this drug. Um, Representative Bolton, recognize for a follow-up. Um, and then additionally, could you send something about the uh, cost to incarcerate? Yes, uh, that I found in the fiscal note, which uh, stated that it costs uh, $54,000 uh, a year to incarcerate individuals in the Then I already have that. Thank you. 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 Oh, Representative True, you recognize. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <laughs> Thank you for taking my question. Um, I'm waiting through the bill. Can you show me where in the bill it uh, references the uh, fine for three, uh, the third three possessions? Uh, you, you mentioned uh, decriminalizing uh, uh, third possession fine. Where the fine? What the fine is? Uh, it is. In 2018, Freekeen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now, in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.